With the increase of video online and in particular in social media, it's becoming more and more important for brands and anyone with an online presence to be proficient at producing great videos. Your phone is now capable of shooting amazing quality video at full HD and sometimes even 4K, but video quality alone won't cut it. You need to be able to edit your footage like a pro if you want your videos to stand out. In the past, this was a task that required some heavy duty computing power and exceptional skills, but thankfully we now live in a time where you can do it yourself with greater ease and efficiency than ever before. And if you're an iPhone user or iPad owner, you can unlock this potential for free. Just head over to the iTunes store and download iMovie and you're ready to unleash the editor within. So without any further delay, let's go ahead and get started and check out the basics of creating a video using iMovie. For this particular demonstration, I'm gonna be using an iPad, but keep in mind, it's virtually the same process on an iPhone. If you want to use it on a computer, that would be for a different tutorial because the layout is quite different on the OS X version of iMovie. So this is the iOS version of iMovie that I'm about to demonstrate. So let's get stuck into it. In order to get going, we tap on the iMovie icon, and the first thing you'll see is a video window which will show you the contents of your camera roll and any video clips that are already in there. The next tab is the projects tab whereby you can create a new project or if you have played with iMovie in the past, your existing projects will be stored in that area. And then iMovie Theater, which is your personal cinema on all your devices. If you have an iCloud account, all your movies are automatically shared in iCloud so that you can watch them anytime using iMovie Theater on your Mac, iOS devices, and Apple TV. So to start a new project, we go straight to the Projects tab, and the first option you'll see on the top left is a large plus icon. You tap on that, and you'll see two options available to you there. The first one is to create a movie, which allows you to combine videos, photos and music to make your own movie. And the second one is the trailer option, which allows you to follow a template to create a Hollywood style movie trailer. For this particular video, I'm going to demonstrate how to combine your own videos and photos and music to make a unique movie. Perhaps in another video, I might cover the topic of creating trailers. So let's go ahead and create our first iMovie movie. Before we can edit our movie, we need to add the media to our project. So to do this, we can access all of the media on our device in the media option on the left-hand side. So if we have a look at the options, you get the moments tab, video, photos, and albums, which allows us to access all of the media in our photo library. I've recently transferred some video clips across from my digital cameras and they're residing in the video tab. And you can see all of these videos arranged by date on the right hand side. There's quite a number of them. For this project, I'm just gonna load the first few. So to load them up into the project, you tap on the video that you wanna use and then select the tick icon. If you're not sure if you wanna use it, you can tap on it and click play and you'll see a small preview window appear which allows you to view the contents of the video clip. If you like, you can cut the video clip before it even gets into your project and you can do this by tapping on the yellow bars to the left and right of that video clip. So for this third clip that I'm about to import, I'm going to cut it a little bit shorter before I bring it into the project. I'm tapping on the left yellow bar and you can see I get a preview window which scrolls the video footage so that I can see exactly where I can create my in point for the video. And I can do the same with the out point by dragging the yellow bar to the right hand side of the video. So this is gonna be a much shorter clip. So I don't have to worry about the cut when I'm in the actual edit. And now I can tap on the tick icon and iMovie will add the shorter version of that clip to my project. I'll just add a few more videos. So when you've selected all of your media, you can tap on the create movie option at the bottom of the screen and iMovie will tell you how many items 
you're going to be importing into the movie and of what duration this content will be. So I have eight items that will be a duration of five minutes, unless of course I cut into that footage further once I'm in the project. So I'll go ahead and tap create movie. And now we enter the main editing screen of iMovie. The first thing we see on the top left hand corner is a preview window of our videos. And then just below it is our timeline, which is where we do all the work. So if I put my finger anywhere on that timeline and drag it across to the right, you can see that I can move the playhead over any of that footage that I've just imported. So I'm dragging all the way to the right to get to my very first clip. Now, iMovie hasn't imported the movies in the order that I want them to appear. So the first thing I'm going to do is adjust the order of some of the clips. Now, as you would expect, one of the first clips I want to see in my movie is the face to camera scene that I shot earlier on. So to do this, I'm going to tap and hold on the thumbnail of that video clip that's on the timeline. And then I'm going to pick it up and move it across to the left. And all the other video clips will scroll along to the right, allowing me to place that video clip at position one. So I can now press the play button in the preview window to get a preview of that footage. And the next thing we usually do when we're editing a video is to cut each individual clip to the length required. So we'll go to the next clip, tap on it, and when you tap on a clip, you get a yellow bar on the left and right hand side that allows you to edit the in and out points and then moving it across. And as I'm doing so, you can see the preview in the main window on the top left. Okay, so now I'll tap on the other side of the clip, which is the out point, and I'll drag it further into the center and that will shorten the duration of my clip. You can go ahead and do that with all of your clips, tapping on the left hand bar and the right hand bar until you get the clip to the duration that you want. If you look to the right hand side of the timeline, iMovie will display the new duration of the movie, which is now at three minutes. And that is the very basic edit of the movie. The next thing we wanna have a look at is how to create transitions in between clips. A transition, is an effect that you can apply from the out point of the previous clip to the in point of a new clip. iMovie gives you a number of different transitions, including a theme default, a dissolve, slide, wipe, and fade effect. So let's go ahead and have a look at each one of these. You'll notice in between each clip on the timeline, is an icon which is depicted by two arrows facing inward. If we tap one of those transition points, we then get a submenu that appears that allows us to select from a number of different transition styles. And we can also change the duration of that transition. And if we like, we can even add a sound effect to the transition. So the first option on the left is none. So that means that there'll be no transition. It'll be a straight jump cut. The second one applies a theme default, which is usually just a basic fade. The third one is a dissolve, which fades up and down simultaneously in between the clips. Then you can create a slide or a wipe. And the last option is also a fade. So let's go ahead and have a look at what a dissolve might look like. So I've placed a dissolve in between my first and second clip. I'll tap on one of the clips in the timeline, move it along just before it ends, and press play. Audio track. So let's go ahead and see how iMovie performs this time. So that was the dissolve. Let's try a slide. Now let's try a wipe. And finally, we'll try that fade one more time. Now you'll notice there's a lot of staticky noise coming out of those audio clips that I shot. I wasn't particularly paying attention to the audio because I didn't actually want audio on those particular clips. I'm gonna replace the audio with another track from the audio library in the next section. 
So in order to do that, I'm going to tap on the clip that I want to affect and you'll see a sub menu appear and we have a number of options, one of which is to detach the audio. When you do this, the audio track will appear as a separate track below the video tap. I can now tap on that and adjust the volume all the way down to zero. So whilst we're in there, let's have a look at what else we can do in that sub menu area. There's a whole range of other tasks that we can perform in order to edit each individual clip. So by tapping on one of the clips, we have an option where we can split the clip. So if there's a clip that you'd like to split, tap on it, move the playhead to the position that you want to split that clip and then tap on split. It will create the second version of the clip and then you could delete it by tapping on it and dragging it up. Let's go ahead and create another split. And if you like, you can duplicate a clip if you wanna see it appear twice in the timeline. If we tap on the speed icon, we're able to change the speed of the video clip. If we drag it to the left, we can go as slow as eight times slower than the original speed the video was shot. And if we drag to the right, we can duplicate the speed of the video clip. Let's go to about a quarter speed for this particular clip and play that one back. As you can see, it's now playing back in slow motion. The next one along is the titles option, which allows us to create text titles overlaid on top of our video footage. There's a number of different predefined styles and fonts that you can choose from. You can experiment here, keeping in mind you can only place one title on each video clip. And the final option is the filters tab, which allows us to create a filter on our video footage, which can give it a really unique and distinctive feel. It kind of reminds me of the types of filters that you'd find on an app like Instagram. Perhaps a little less extensive, but there's a number of different options there. You can tap on each clip and create a different filter for each video clip. So we've applied some basic edits on the timeline. We've created cuts. We've changed the speed and duration of our video clips, changed the volume, added titles, and also unique filters to our video clips, which just about takes us to the conclusion. But before we do wrap up this presentation, there's one thing I wanted to look at, and that is how to add audio to the video production. So on the right-hand side, you'll see there's an option for audio. So we tap on that and we are able to select from a number of predefined soundtracks that come with iMovie in different styles and tempos. So let's have a listen to a couple of these options. Now, if you don't like any of these, you can select any soundtrack that's in your iTunes library, but keep in mind that you may come up against copyright restrictions if you're going to be using this video on social media platforms such as YouTube. So quite often, the safe bet is to use the music provided in iMovie or to go and grab your music from sound libraries where you can purchase a license. So to access those, you can scroll down a little bit further and all of your content from iTunes will appear in the Albums tab, Artists or Songs, or you can perform a search for that soundtrack in the search bar at the top of the screen. But for this particular example, I'm just going to use the default modern soundtrack. To do so, I can tap on it and then you'll see a Use option appear to the right-hand side, tap on that, and then the audio track appears directly below your footage on the timeline. So now when you press play, you'll hear that music track.
Now before we wrap it up, there's a couple of other things I wanted to mention very quickly. If we have a look on the left hand corner below the main video window, we can see a microphone and a camera icon. If you want to add voiceover to your movie, tap on the microphone and you can start recording your voice directly into the movie. As you can see, it's created a voiceover recording beneath the video clip in the position the playhead was on when I pressed accept. Now, incidentally, if you like, you can change the location of that audio by tapping on it and dragging it to another place on the timeline. You can also slot in some extra video using the camera of your iPad or iPhone by tapping on the camera icon. Another thing I wanted to point out is there is an undo option, which is a circular arrow that appears to the right hand corner in the top section of the timeline. So if you tap on that, you can step back to the previous step a number of times to get back to where you were before you made the mistake. And on a final note, I want to show you one more feature and that is your project settings window. To get access to this, tap on the cogwheel icon that appears on the top right hand corner of the preview video. And you'll see in the project settings, you can actually select a filter that is applied to each of the video clips all at once rather than going into them individually applying a different filter. So that's useful if you want to apply one filter for all. You can also select a theme style which will bring in with it its own transition styles. You can select theme music. You can also have the movie fade in from black or fade out to black at the end. And you can also select an option where changing the speed of the video clip changes the pitch of the audio along with it. Or if you turn that off, it'll change the speed of the video clip, but leave the audio intact. So there are the basics of creating your own video using iMovie on your iPad or iPhone. Once you've completed all these steps and you're happy with your movie, simply tap on done on the top left hand corner of the screen and it will save your project into your projects area in iMovie. To see your movie, just tap on it to play. If you like, you can create further edits by tapping on the edit button. And if you wanna share your movie, tap on the share icon, which is on the bottom of the screen in between the play and the trash icon. By tapping on the share icon, you can share your movie to different social media platforms. You can send it straight to YouTube, you can email it, and you can also airdrop it to another device. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit me up with a like and also consider subscribing to the channel so you'll be notified of up and coming video releases. There's more tutorials like this. There's also unboxing and reviews and general videos commenting on technology in the creative industry. So if that's your type of thing, be sure to subscribe. See you on the next one, bye for now.